Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 249 and we're talking about adding clients as friends on Facebook. In the previous video, we were talking about the new Facebook changes to the algorithm in which Facebook stated that they would be sharing more in your newsfeed from your friends and family versus businesses. And if businesses wanted to get the attention of their potential clients, then they would have to run ads, etc. Okay, we've talked about that. So the next question becomes, a lot of people will say, should I friend my my clients so they can see more from me okay we've talked about this in the past good morning Susie but really that's a personal decision some people are extremely private and they have their personal Facebook profile locked down you can't find any information about them that's just the way that they like to operate good morning Charlie how are you so if you're a private person and you want your Facebook locked down Personally, it makes me think that you're in witness protection, but if that's the way you want to operate, that is perfectly fine. Okay, and then there are people like me who are wide open, books of everything, and I will friend my clients and allow them to get to know me personally because I think there's an advantage in building relationships. Again, please don't mishear me. I understand if you are private and you want to keep your family and all of your information private but you choose what you want to share on Facebook. So you can open up your Facebook profile and friend your clients and just not talk about your children or whatever you wish to keep private on Facebook. To me, Facebook has always been about business. From day one, I was not looking at Facebook as a way to connect with my old high school friends. Negative. I was thinking strategically, and how can I become friends and build relationships with clients, future, potential, past, all of the above so I do friend clients it is a strategy it's how I approach social media I do share personal things as much as I want to share I obviously wouldn't share things I don't want to share that doesn't make sense you're in control of that you choose what you share but I do like the fact that my clients know that I love my chickens that I have chickens that I live on a homestead that I'm like Laura Ingalls Wilder up here, Little House on the Prairie with my parents living in my home. I like that they know that I have children. I, I just enjoy sharing with people. That's just how I am personally and professionally. If you're not that way, I get it. But I use it as a strategy so that I can post information to my personal profile as well as to my business page. For instance, if I create a post on my website, my number one goal is to drive traffic to my website to build my SEO and get people off of Facebook because they will get trapped in Facebook and they will go away from my page. My website is the only thing I own. I want them on my website. That's always the goal for me. The driver is how can I get traffic from here to the website. So when I post something on my blog, I share it in Facebook, I'm in our community group, I share it on my Flourish Academy page, and I also share it on my personal profile so that if somebody who is following me, because you're not seeing everything, right? We know this, we know you're not seeing it, and you think to yourself, that's obnoxious, I don't wanna post things everywhere, but people aren't seeing it. So they're not seeing it those three or four times that I post it. You may only be seeing it once, and so is everyone else. Therefore, I'm gonna share it on all these different outlets on my Facebook page with the goal of driving traffic to my website. And I, I wanna use my personal profile to do so. Should you friend clients? Oh, that is a million dollar question. Please comment. Should you friend clients? Do you friend clients? Are you hiding something? <laughs> In my mind, the only reason I wouldn't friend someone is if I have something to hide and I have nothing to hide you choose what you share you don't have to share everything you don't have to share uh, what you're eating for dinner or your bad day or your good day you choose to share what you want to share if you need help in this apartment go look at my personal profile page and just follow me and see what I'm sharing I had a friend say to me a couple years ago I would well, maybe it was more than that it was when Facebook hit its tipping point, meaning everyone was on it, um, and I don't remember exactly what year that was, but he said to me, I see what you're doing on Facebook and you use it very strategically. It's business for you, isn't it? Yes, it is. I do post personal things, but to me, the Heather who operates her business is the same Heather who lives with a gaggle of chickens on a homestead outside of Pittsburgh. That's the same Heather. So I'm willing to share that so that you get to know me on a personal level and you can make the decision whether you like me, don't like me, follow me, not wanna follow me, but I'm putting myself out there. I'm not afraid to do it. Does that concern you? Are you concerned about something 
privately? Do you not want people to know something? Are you in witness protection? I mean, what is going on? Please, I beg of you to share, like, leave a comment. Every comment helps so that other people see it. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.